So in this video, I want to talk about the latest episode of that time I got reincarnated at a table. Because, <laughs> okay, I, let me have a joke every now and again, because it's so funny when I watched the latest episode and I saw some of the images on X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it, and I saw it and instantly I just, I, I kid you not, I just kept laughing for like 10 minutes straight because I just found it funny because I'm like, I knew it was coming. I knew that this episode would be table talking, but I was kind of like, mm, what's the reception going to be like? So I went into the comments and straight away you see people getting very defensive about it before anyone has actually said anything negative, which is what I've always found funny about Slime is that there could be no criticisms for the series. Everyone's loving it. And then there's always someone defending the series against an imaginary problem that they've created. And it's like, you do know you're kind of admitting that that you yourself see a problem in it by defending it before anyone has actually criticized it. Just saying. Again, I knew table talking was going to come because it's obvious. Because of the last episode, they had their fight, they resolved it, and then they're like, hey, let's resolve this at a nice table, discuss things, work at negotiations, and have a back and forth. The thing that I do love is Veldra and the interaction between Lumerus, I think is how you pronounce it, and Veldera and their interactions, it's always enjoyable. And then of course the end part where you've got them all eating. See, I like that backdrop. That one's really nice because it's got that kind of nice aesthetic Japanese style with the food and everyone's sitting around enjoying themselves. I like that. I, I always enjoy when they're kind of just chilling, drinking, eating, and you get to see all the different like foods that Rimuru is slowly progressively uh, integrating and building the logistics for. That's what I love seeing. And then, of course, you've got Yuki. My big gripe, and I spoke about this in a Moonlit Fantasy video, about Rimuru being too lovey-dovey when it comes to his enemies. And specifically, I was referring to Yuki. Everyone else, he can be really dark and very, like... Like, if you, if you do him harm, he'll get really angry, or not so much do him harm, but do the people that he cares about harm, which is kind of like, you know, everything connected to what he's built up. So if you do him wrong, which is all that, then yeah, he gets angry and very, like, frustrated. But for some reason, he seems to see the best in Yuki, even though everyone's like, yeah, Yuki's, you know, a little bit sus. It's like that game of uh, Among Us. Everyone knows that Yuki's the bad guy, except the one person, and it's like, oh, no, 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 they didn't do anything. It's just like, come on, come on, Remy. Come on, my boy. Come on. I mean, again, I have read the light novel, a fair chunk of it, but it's just one of those where I'm just like, come on, just, just admit it, dude. Just admit it. Yuki's a problem. Because he lets Yuki walk all over him too much. And I think the reason why is because Rimuru sees a connection with Yuki and all the others that are from that out of the world. They've all come from Japan or whatnot, or from an alternative world into this world, and he feels connected to them. It's like some sort of like brotherly kind of connection with all of them. And so I think that's why he kind of wants to look at the best in them because of that, but it leads to Rimuru being a little bit blindsided from that. Again, that's just my perspective on Rimuru's personality. I still got a lot of reading to go when it comes to slime, but I am a decent chunk through it, but I'll definitely be looking forward to seeing how that relationship progresses. Again, I'm not spoiling anything, I'm just saying their relationship is an interesting one, to say the least. What I also do find interesting is how they're presenting the anime. This is the thing, I know what's going to happen in Season 3, so there's no point me speculating on, oh, I wonder what's going to happen next episode, because I kind of already know what's going to happen. Uh, there's some little bit of fogginess because it's been a while since I've read these volumes, but it's interesting to just see how it's all presented. As I've mentioned in one of my videos, and I'm glad some people actually saw what I meant from it, and it's not seen as an insult towards slime, the anime, in some aspects, in some episodes, feels like a visual novel, where you're more just watching people talking with their mouths moving, and you're seeing the back and forth. Occasionally, they do show some interesting images of, like, characters, and, like, for example, Luminous, when she does her little blowy kiss love thing, like, those little fun moments, but it does feel like a bit of a visual novel when it comes to the table episodes, which is why I can understand some of the criticism. There is some moments where they do show some stuff, but a lot of it is just a still shot background with some lip movement, 
and it's just you're reading you're reading a lot i mean it'd be great for dub watchers because they can just watch it maybe if they were watching on a tv or on a second screen on your computer or something and you can do something else and you just listen to them talking it doesn't really bother you so much and that is one benefit of that but if it's sub then you've got to sit there and read it all that's just what i was trying to point out to some people that don't understand why i think some of the criticism there do i think it's important yes and this is where i think the biggest issue with anime fans light novel fans manga fans and those defending it and those just pointing out the obvious because i don't think anyone's really saying the series is bad by saying it's table talking most of it's just memeing and just joking around going oh yeah another table episode and i think some of the fans are getting too defensive this happened during season one and season two and it got worse in season two every season so far it's gotten worse where slime fans have become increasingly i'm just going to say how i see it toxic especially light novel fans have become increasingly toxic and especially certain subreddits that just defend something that's not even being criticized as i've pointed out I, I see it as a bit of a visual novel do i think it's important stuff yeah do i think it's a bad episode no I, I like these episodes i think they're fun but i also like to bring up the counter perspective of if you were to re-watch the anime again would you skip the table episodes that's a question that i've asked and i'd love to re-ask that question and see if anyone would like to put their input of would you skip those episodes would you sit there and re-watch them talking that entire episode multiple times if you re-watch the anime I know some people don't rewatch animes. I rewatch animes, but that's why I ask that question because it's an interesting perspective to look at. <clears throat> Overall, very excited. I look forward to seeing where the episodes go. I do like the fact that they are hinting at future stuff because I'm not sure if they're really going to have the I call it the money arc. It, it will have some aspects in this season, but I don't know how far they're going to go through the volumes because they seem to be going through it quite slowly. They're going through it very much bit by bit by bit by bit. I actually found interesting though some of the fans that were defending the table episodes were very critical of the fight scenes saying that they were kind of annoyed how fast the fight scenes went and they felt like stuff was skipped there but they went they, they complained that the fight scenes were skipping too much but the table episodes were going through stuff too thoroughly and i'm like well let's be honest here the table episodes require less budget just that so they probably saw that as a kind of like a put more energy into the table episodes which i don't think is a bad thing but i could definitely see the criticism of people feeling like some of those fight scenes could have been fleshed out a little bit more especially certain fight scenes that didn't get shown a particular cute little girl on the opposition side and a certain individual restrings if you've read the manga in the light novels particularly a, a lot of the manga panels were getting shown for that and her blushing which is also funny because it really shows actually how taken she is in the anime but you don't know why unless you've seen the manga or the light novels and seen those little little pieces so i do think that's kind of funny that they did that i'm very interested to see where the future episodes go very much very much because i know what is coming I'm just curious at how it's going to play out because this is where I like, I see it as like the end game civilization. Like you see seasons one as like civilization, the beginning stage. And this is like civilization building the wonders. That's how I see it. So very excited, very much. I won't say why, but it starts with a D and it's not that D. <laughs> I didn't realize when I said that. <laughs> If you've read the light novels or read the manga, you know what I mean. But it's not that D. It's it's a different D. Think of a typical RPG kind of setting. So again, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you like this video, hit the like, subscribe. And I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.